What is your take on public uh, publishing uh, one's blood uh, blood work? I'm assuming he's saying right. Yeah, blood work. Um, and I think putting up your photos or your goals or uh, kind of holds you accountable. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? If you have a social media page and you say, "Hey guys, I'm going to go on a journey," mm-hmm. do you think that might help some individuals? Sure. I, I definitely think that just black out like your personal like you know details on it, but yeah, absolutely. If you want to show your levels and kind of where you're at, you know, here's the, what you should not do. Yeah, you, you you post your levels and people start telling you what you need to start doing. Oh, don't do that. Don't oh, get into that. Great insight. Definitely post them up right for people to see, for people to be educated on, and what you get from credible sources, aka medical providers, not the coaches, not some other guy that knows what he's doing from the gym or anybody else in between, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, whatever it is, post it, learn from it, help other people, educate them, and then keep on that journey. Because, listen, there's nothing wrong with posting blood work unless you're unless you're ashamed of what's on the blood work, right? I mean, at that, that point, then at that don't post it because it's totally up to you if you want to do it or not. But – if you see something on there, like, all right, my liver functions are high, I'm posting this. All right, well, cool. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to get my liver functions down. And then you repost it. If you really want to go that route and, and start helping people and educating people. Um, I post my blood work. I don't got nothing to be ashamed of. Everybody knows I'm on HRT, and I take all kinds of different peptides and IGF-1 and all kinds of aminos. Everything I do is through Titan. So everything is correlating with that and the blood work. And if something starts being off, then I'll start changing things too as well. Yeah. Great freaking insight. Cause uh, you, you totally made me flip my opinion. Uh, I think you should post photos like before and after photos. I think you should post like uh, your diet and, and you can ask questions. I don't think you should post your blood work. Mm-hmm. And, and it's for the fact of what he just said is unless you are mentally strong Mm -hmm. and you're not going to get triggered. Oh, I said the word, Mm -hmm. you know, by, by somebody saying, Hey, this doctor says this, this doctor Mm -hmm. says this. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't weigh on you, then Mm -hmm. I feel sure, whatever. But I think it's going to weigh on most people and and you can't listen, not about your health. You can't listen to 10 different people. Stay with stay with a doctor. Do your own research. Stay with one person that's giving you advice and see if you can move that to the healthier you yeah. and the more optimized you. Not just healthy, but but yeah. are you getting in shape? Do you feel better? Are you emotionally better? Are you clear? Are you, are you having sex? Are you enjoying the day? Are you happy? Mm-hmm. So just uh, be careful about posting too much. Yeah. You know, I would yeah. say. And, and, and I was going to say 100% post it, and yeah. Johnny said his thing, and I said, I'm with I'm with you, man. Thanks for making that clarification. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I just seen it a million times. You know, I see it in groups. I see it. I see a lot of people post some blood work, you know, and especially some of these influencers now who are talking about how they're on so much gear, and then they start posting blood work. I'm like, okay. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the new things all right so what are your thoughts on glp1 medication 